Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. And now in this video, we will be turning this whole website into an e-commerce site, okay? So this is the theme that we will be using right now, okay? We first have to understand that how basically e-commerce works, okay? And then when we will understand each and everything, then we will move with the design, okay? So do not go with right now, okay? Um, we will be moving on with the plugin, okay? There's a plugin that converts any of your WordPress site into an e-commerce website. I'll show you each and everything about that plugin. Okay, so do not worry about it, okay? And then we will be moving on with different themes. We will be integrating it. So let's just go ahead. Let's just hit dashboard. And you can see that we are here. The first thing that we have to do is that we need to install the plugin. So let's just go ahead and let's hit add new. And you can see that here we have the plugins right here. But before adding the plugins, let's just go to the permalinks right here. And let's set up permalinks because this is the most important thing that we have to do always, okay? You have to hit post name right now. And then you have to hit save changes. And you can see that we're done. So let's just go to this right here. And let's search for... Um, popular plugin. So in, in the popular, I think that here should be that plugin. And here we go. This is the plugin that we will be moving on right now. And it says WooCommerce is a powerful extendable e-commerce plugin that help you sell anything beautifully okay so this is by wordpress itself okay the automatic company is basically of wordpress okay if we just go to automatic Okay, then you can see that this is coming as the owner as automatic. So if you just go to wordpress.com, owned by automatic. Okay, so if you just go to automatic.com, let's just look at this. Okay, so they have WordPress, Jetpack, WordPress.com, VIP, WooCommerce, WordPress, Akismet, Longred. So they offer so much. Okay, you can see everything is right here. Okay, uh, we don't make software for free, we make it for freedom. Okay, this is also a great line that I liked right now. I just saw it. Okay, so you can see this is the company um, behind that. Okay, this plugin and this whole WordPress. But this WordPress.org is basically um, an open source project, nonprofit. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's just install this WordPress uh, in WordPress. This is WooCommerce. I'm just going to hit install now. And you can see that this will be installed. So you can see this is right here installed. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit activate right now. Okay. So on activating this, um, I will also install a theme that is very important. Okay. So you can see that it is saying store setup, payment, shipping, extras, activate, and ready. Um, we will be doing this later on. Okay, if you want to do it right now, you can just do it right now. So let's just go ahead and let's just uh, work with this. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to select where is my store base. So you have to select your own country. Um, since I have so many students from um, United States, I think I can also go with the United States as well. So I'm just going to be choosing um, United States. Or let's just select my own country. So I'm going to choose um, my own country with um, this right here. I'm going to add the address. I'm going to add the city right here. And here we have the what currency do you use? So you have to select your currency from here. Um, you can select it. Uh, I'm going to be choosing um, the US dollar because um, that is the worldwide currency. So let's search for um, US dollar. Okay. It is not right here. I'm going to search um, United States. Okay, here we have the United States dollar. I'm going to select this one. And what type of product do you want to sell? It is asking. So um, you can sell physical and digital products. So let's just discuss the, what is a physical and digital. Physical products are those that need to be shipped. Okay, so let's suppose that just I ordered the iPhone case um, in the previous video. Okay, that was the physical product. And if I just purchase anything online for like a software or anything okay and or if i want to sell, uh, buy an image like here from pixabay okay if i want to purchase um their membership this is called the digital okay so they cannot be shipped okay but they can be bought so you can just uh, call it like this okay so let's just come here and i will plan to sell both and digital so you can select physical and digital i plan to sell both just make sure to select it you can change it later on okay this is checked so keep it checked and let's just hit let's go 
So here you can see that we have right here, WooCommerce can accept both online and offline payments. Additional payments method can be installed later. So you can see that we have PayPal, we have PayPal standard, we have offline payments, and then we have the check payments, the bank transfer, and the cash on delivery. Okay, so we can just integrate them um, when we want to and we will be doing this later on. So let's just hit continue right now. And then we have the shipping tab right here. So we have the shipping zone that um, in Pakistan, we can uh, just uh, add the shipping charges. So for sh in Pakistan, I will charge $10 and, or in uh, anywhere around the world, I will charge $50. Okay, so this is what they mean. Okay, so we will be discussing later on, so do not panic right now. I'm just telling you a basic way to set up our store. Okay, so now we have the weight, the, the dimensions unit, and then let's hit continue. So leave it as it is. We will be discussing each and everything in depth. Okay, so now it is saying recommended extras. Your theme is not compatible with WooCommerce. We recommend you to switch to a storefront, a free WordPress team built and maintained by the makers of WooCommerce. Okay, so make sure you check it out. Okay, if you do not want to check it out right now, we will install this later on. Okay, so um, let's check it out. Okay, because uh, we will be creating a commerce website on this theme. So let's just hit continue and you can see this theme should be automatically installed on our site. Okay, and then we have the jetpack. We don't want to connect to jetpack. So let's just hit skip this step and you can see that this is my um, email address. You can just sign up to their newsletter. Okay, and then we have to create your first product and import products. Just just hit return to dashboard and you can see that things that we that has been done. <clears throat> is that um, these, uh, okay, if I just open up this, my website in a new tab, you can see that a new theme has been installed on my, um, this site. Okay, so this theme is specially designed for e-commerce based website. You can see that we have a shopping cart right here, and then we have the card page, checkout page, my account page and everything. So this plugin has already created some pages. If I just go to the card page right now, you can see your card is currently empty. If I just go to checkout right now, you can see that it will show uh, that checkout is not available. Uh, will, uh, uh, your card is empty. And then we have the my account page here. I can manage my account. Here I can manage my orders that we have like in the eBay. Okay. And then in the download section, I have all the downloads available. So if like you can see that I'm also shipping, I'm also giving the digital products to download as well. So then we have my address right here. Here would be my address. I can ad enter my billing address. I can enter my shipping address here. And then I have the account details and I, and I can also log myself out. So this is how um, this website, uh, this plugin has basically created these stuff. So this is uh, showing the create a home page using st uh, storefronts homepage, add example products. So you can add example products and then you can hit create a home page using storefronts home page template. So what you like, um, you want to add the example products or not? Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's add the example products so that um, our website is already already have some products. So let's just hit let's go. And you can see that example products and our home page will be already set up. Since this is our testing based website, we're gonna discuss everything. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's add this. Okay, so we can see um, that it should be added. It's gonna take some time because it is adding some products and it is also setting up the home page. So when it is done, you have to see how it's gonna look okay here we have you can see that it is uh, it has added some of the products you can see that we have this right here we have shop by category we have uh, the products has also been added and everything coming here and this is already you guys already know that this is called the customizer okay so you can click let's go you can add the logo you can add it and then you can click skip this cap choose your accent color choose your buttons choose your all set remember to save and publish okay so let's just go ahead let's go back to our site okay here we have uh, install and go enhancement okay so this is just showing provide a more seamless checkout experience cart tab bag is a fixed card item that displays number of products in cart to your site so do not install this right now okay um, we will be installing this later on when we will uh, just work with our website okay so just uh, come here and what we need to do is that we need to come here and we need to go to dashboard and let's just hit home 
okay and then let's go ahead and view our website how it is looking okay so this is how our website is looking okay we have in the shop page it's gonna have all the products that we have right here since we uh, did not edit these products we just select that but we did not publish okay that is why the dummy content is not added yet and if we go to the products here here you can see two tabs has been added one is the WooCommerce and the other is the product. So if we just go to all products right here, you will see no product will be here. You can see ready to start selling something awesome. Create your first product, import products from your CSV file. So we will be doing everything from start. We'll just try to learn how to add a product, how product is added, how can we add um, different sizes of product like um, when we selected that we need the phone case of iPhone success. So how can we just add these type of variable products? So we will be starting this in the next video and this is going to be so much fun. So stay tuned guys and in the next video, we will be working up with our whole website. We'll add some products and then we'll design this website and then we will go how and learn how to build professional based e-commerce website like eBay and everything. So stay tuned and bye-bye.